and welcome to this video. I really like to do these racing documentaries, but there is a reason why there's not a lot of people doing them. They require a lot of work. I decided to do this video because I feel that most people do not understand the amount of work that is behind these videos, that I would call racing documentaries. Most people nowadays simply use the internet and that is why we have such bad journalism everywhere. They all copy each other and don't do their work. I like to do it the old way. Sometimes I have to buy a new book to do a video as I cannot find the information anywhere else. Usually I do not shoot videos with it, but I have some books with lots of information that is not in the internet, believe it or not. I use them a lot. I also have a bunch of DVDs about racing and tend to use them as they have much better quality than freaking YouTube videos uploaded by nobody knows who. But you have to watch them and it can take several hours, sometimes days. And of course, you always have the internet and its infinite flow of information. Being Portuguese, I speak and or understand several languages and accents, so I can research for information on many places. I am not good at all with languages from Central and Eastern Europe and those are the hardest for me. This means that research can become very time consuming. Checking information in books, pictures, videos and confronting them to get the best answer. Recording my own voice and editing it, mixing and exporting. I have to hear my voice a lot. I hate to use my own voice and I try to convince myself that it is someone else's voice, so I won't go mad. I am not very good with voicing or singing, so I record a lot. And I mean a lot. And by recording tons of stuff, that means that I also have a lot to edit from noise reduction to final compression. This process can take a lot of hours. Sometimes I divided it in several days. If I do not have a lot of available time, it can be done in several places also, thanks to the laptop. Remember, this is just for the voice. Then there's music, sound effects, etc. I could use AI to do this voicing part, but it is not the same. I have a bunch of DVDs about racing as I mentioned, and I tend to use them in order to get the best quality. I try to avoid the quick YouTube search, although sometimes I cannot avoid it. I also try to use the best quality pictures. Sometimes they are so many that I place two side by side, racing style. I have to search for the coordinates of the track so I can use satellite view footage. I have to create all the graphics for all layouts. I hate when I have so much footage about a certain part and almost nothing on others. Sometimes you see a series of racing posters because of that. Following a chronological order is not always possible. I have my style of editing and, as always, some people like it, some people don't. I have two jobs among other occupations like doing these videos and that means that time is not on my side. Obviously, it is always nice when you see your work rewarded, but I don't do them for the money or for the glory. I do it because I like it. And many people watch my videos but are not subscribers. Lots of them. I confess that sometimes I look at those counts and I don't feel any kind of motivation to keep wasting my time on these videos. I prefer to make a drink and watch the latest news on the Ukraine war and view the brave Ukrainians dropping grenades from drones on the Russian invaders using the money I donated to them. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, leave a line in the comments section if you have something to say or ask, and subscribe for more videos like this. I see you in the next video. Take care.